Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be doing a bespoke legend handmade by Stuart Kranzbuehler himself. Straight after this. So many thanks to David who's been a contributor to the channel for years now. Uh, he actually sourced this bat, and um, I can't say where he got it from, but it's definitely made by Stuart Kranzbuehler. Custom order, he said, can you ask Stuart to make me a shape that he likes in 210? And also, could you get him to sign it? And apparently he paid roughly the same price as a normal legend. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, how much is a Grey Nichols legend? Here's a dog sound. <coughs> Yeah, Google's useless. No, it doesn't know. So uh, we're never ever going to find out what they cost. I'll leave a link in the description just to the general Grey Nichols site. Um, and you can look that up yourself. This bat is not for sale. Please don't ha start hassling me or the owner. It is not for sale. You guys have to find your own bats. So, let's have a look at it. It's an absolute beauty. Really nice piece of willow. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. They are on that fainter side, but I'm sure once I oil it, because I'm going to prep this one, but you won't see the finished result. Uh, it's going to come out pretty nice. You, you can see the, the grains pretty defined through there. Uh, and let's look at the shape this way. It is full as, and it's got a tiny little dent there down the bottom. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but let's push this straight down over that and have a look at that. It's absolutely full. And the face is pretty much the five mil as well. This is pretty much one of those player profiles that you hear, the bats that he would make for the international pros. And when I turn this around, just have a look how huge that hitting position is and that's pretty much in the center of the swell and it doesn't get much smaller all the way up here or all the way down there it's just one huge hitting area really full and apparently he asked for it 210 and i haven't actually weighed it this is last year's stickers they changed them uh, with the southern cross here and more recently, the sticker arrangement has changed again. They've put a Grey Nichols sticker down there because it looks a bit barren without a sticker there. That's all right. There'll be a Cricket Bat Info sticker going there at the end. One just like this. <laughs> uh, it does remind me a lot of uh, not only those player shapes that, that he makes for his international players, but it also reminds me a lot of the, uh, the, the, th the features I liked about the Beluga when I had that or even that trot profile that's been around, is that they were just one huge middle and it didn't really matter whether you, you hit here or hit here, you were gonna get full value for your shots all the way through that hitting area. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely, isn't it? So up here at the shoulder, we've got an X and you can see there those grains, oh, that wasn't skewing off a little bit. That's normally the way things go. They'll tend to put the, the less visually appealing uh, wood on the cleft up this side and then they'll make sure it's prioritized down the bottom you can see that's pretty nice and straight straight through there you can look up for yourselves what uh, GN legends are selling for these days just ask whoever's your local retailer whether or not they got a legend and if it suits you or just have a look at the other bats in the handmade range I've been going on about don't chase unicorns but I guess this would fit into that sort of unicorn sort of shape what everybody would be after. It's just absolutely massive, isn't it? Let's do the specs. So we'll start here at the edge. And we know that they're around 40 mil, 39.6. Down here at the toe, it's a big thick toe, isn't it? 25.9 and 30 mil in the center. So nothing like that, um, uh, Ben Stokes uh, bat that I reviewed, which was about 18 or 19 down there. Up here, you've got 14.8. And at the top of the handle, 
splice here, 37.4. I will measure the width of the bat straight away, 107.2, so it's half a mil off what is the maximum you can do. The handle shape itself, it's a really lovely oval. I mean, just have a look at how narrow it is that way, and then when I turn it, you can see how much thicker it gets from there to there in this area. So it's a really nice oval uh, to semi-oval at the top hand. Feels really beautiful. Um, these are apparently the types of handle shapes that uh, Stuart will make. And it does, um, look, all the top bat makers, whether that be Laver or Keeley and, and uh, I mean, even my Rob Pack, generally their handles feel beautiful in the hands because they make them for players and players like the, the, the way a bat should feel, particularly in that bottom hand. The bottom hand's just supposed to rest there, not really do anything. And that's what this is all about. People are saying, oh, you should measure the, the handles. So I'll give it a go. It's obviously got that. So this says 31 that way. And 37 that way. So you've got a six mil difference there. Um, under the handle, shouldn't be any surprises. That standard Grey Nichols handle, three very thin rubber inserts, and the strapping tape or zinc oxide tape for the binding. And that's just a weight saving measure and that can save anywhere up to probably 0.7 of an ounce. And obviously that, that weight can go back into the bat. Let's have a look at the overall length of the bat. Yep, so 55 to that point there, a bit longer there, but he's got the tapered toe going on. That's a standard short handle blade and he's tapered the toes so that it taps down nicely when you're batting you can have it at that sort of angle now as far as bow there's no real major bow in the bat to be honest have a look at that there's no bow at all so <clears throat> hasn't gone for that where some of the shapes that they do they, they really bow them not this one yeah it's, i'm pretty impressed with it and i'm really being very careful not to rub that that signature off it's not the first time i've seen it on a gray nickels bat what else can we talk about? Let's do that spine. So I'll put this here, 66.7. She's a big one. You know, I think I've said before, these uh, grips here, they, they're terrible as far as the way they look, but they are sticky um, and they are light. They are probably another 0.8 of an ounce. So there's a lot of weight saving going on at the handle here. Uh, 0.7 again, so one, one and a half ounces saved just on the handle alone by those measures. Now, what does it actually feel like? I'm testing it now, and I can tell you it feels better than 210. Yeah, it's got a really nice pickup as well. I could probably use this, to be honest. David, you're not getting it back. It probably feels like a two eight and a half in my hands. And I think a lot of that goes with the wood that he's left in it going up towards the handle. That has helped to balance the bat. Nothing else we can do except see what it actually weighs. And here we go, I haven't seen it. 210.2, amazing. Okay, let's tap it up. Making sure that's in camera. And we'll start at the toe. So it's interesting, with the Stuart Cransbuehl oppressors, this one is actually on the firmer side. Um, it's like he presses them to the point that you really don't have to do a lot out of the middle, just got to get those edges and that toe area sorted. But I mean, you can see that rebound up here is just as good. Well, not just as good. It's still pretty good. In the middle there it's good and low it's good as well and obviously as it peters up like any bat down in that last bit yeah it's a stunner absolute stunner so there you have it that is a bespoke legend in stuart kranz favorite shape ordered at 210 
with the gentleman's signature on the back. Thank you very much to David, long time supporter of the channel for supplying that bat. If you like what I do and you want to help me out, then I do ask you to hit that like button, comment and uh, think about subscribing to the channel because there's always lovely bats like this and some unique ones that you've never seen before. And that's what it's all about, showing you everything that's out there and being consistent about it. We'll see you on the next video.